Now, the one thing I would say is that for you to have a very cooperative woman, you basically got to top her by a few points. Right. So if you are able to get like a three or a four, right, to cooperate, then that means you you are probably a couple points above her, because if she was dealing with a three or a four, she going to treat the dude who she with. That's a three or four like nothing anyway. But if she get with this guy, that's like a seven, eight. Then she like, oh yeah, okay, and I better, I better take care of this because this is probably my last opportunity to be able to get one of these joints. So no, that see now, see this, Trev, you 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 speak, you thinking too rational. See that that's that that's that rational thinking. That's what we would imagine because from us over here at Mars, that's logical. That makes logical sense. Hey, you know what? This is about the best I can get. I better do treat him right. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What happens is. Women don't think logically like that. They don't think, wow, this man is so amazing. He's a provider. He's a protector. He's got a big dick. He got great credit. He has a loving houses and he, he's he's fancy. He's smart, intelligent. He makes money. He I bet what they tend to believe is that they can even do better than that. And oftentimes, if they're getting smashed by one of those guys, let's say they're not even in a, a, a serious relationship with one. This is how a lot of women get damaged because women don't typically go backwards. Like if a woman buys a BMW at 19, she's probably going to only drive a BMW or better for the rest of her life. If a woman has an apartment, they don't just know how to go crash on the homie sofa like men do. Oh man, I I was up, but now I'm not up. Let me go crash with the homie until I get back up again. That's a men thing. Women is like, the whole world is ending if they got to fucking regress. Well, in dating for women, that's the same way. So if you got a guy that has money, he takes he took her on a couple trips. Maybe he brought her on the yacht once or twice, but he just was trying to fuck. And then he got rid of her. She's going to feel that that's what she qualifies for, even though that's not what she qualifies for, for long term dating or marriage. She qualified to give him some pussy. A lot of women are getting screwed by these guys that they like and they think that they're qualified to have him marry her. And that's not the case. And so now in her mind, she thinks, shit, I'm only fucking with these dudes. And she got this average dude who she actually qualifies for, who lives down the hall from her in her apartment building that she's ignoring. And he's like, why are you ignoring me? Like, you ain't, well, you ain't good. I'm an average dude. You're an average girl. I kind of, you know, I work at the post office. You work at UPS. We can get together. She's like, no, I was getting fucked by a dude that had that drove a BMW or a Mercedes Benz or a Lambo. That's so that's what I qualify for. And unfortunately, he was just fucking her. So the logic that you have makes sense in man's mind. But in women's mind, that's not the case. It does make sense. And I'm going to tell you why. A, a lot of the things that you're saying, it, it's kind of boiled down to like material things and money and um, physical things. You're talking about the tangibles, right? But there's the intangibles and the intangibles are many times what will maintain a woman. I'm pretty confident about what it is that I do, right? I've done things. I've been in places I shouldn't have been, had chicks I shouldn't have had, had them do things that their boyfriends could never get them to do, at least they say, but I believe it's in certain cases. And it had nothing to do. This is these skills I learned when I was broke. Right. These skills I learned when I didn't even know how to take care of myself all the way that I do now. These skills, it just became just because of how I conducted myself. Right. It's all about knowing how to talk to women, be around women. That's what they're really attracted to. If you listen to these younger females right now, you know what they always say when they be like, I don't even look. You be like, yo, you like you like, dude, they don't even know why. You know what they say? He a vibe. That's what they be going off of, man. It's, it's, it's the way that you actually make a chick feel. Right. By just how you are as a man. That's what they're attracted to. It has something to do with money and stuff like that. You'll get women for the short term. You'll be able to obtain it. But for them to really jump on your program and really do what it is that you want them to do. It's the same thing. It's just how you see pimps have females doing crazy stuff, ripping them away from their families and everything else. It's because of they know how to talk and they're using it for the wrong reasons. Right. You see them doing all types of stuff. You're like, damn, you're such a pretty girl. Damn, you're so smart. Why are you doing this for this man? And they won't leave them and they love them. It's just because they know, they understand women's minds. They understand what gets women going, right? So you don't have to use it to that extent, but you have to kind of dig in about women because I had problems when I was way younger. I didn't understand. 
I had to learn the hard way and with a lot of practice, knowing how to talk to women, what to say to women, what think, what triggered them, what got them hot. That's what you have to get into. Once you master that, you're going to be able to do what you want. I'm telling you, it has very little to do with a lot of the uh, tangibles that we're talking about because those, those make sense for a logical person. But I'm not saying I have the confidence because of just that. That is a bonus. Those definitely add points to you. But what really is going to hold a woman is how you handle her. Guarantee you. Kind of sound like you've been reading those pen books too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I never read a pimp book. I say that I never read not an iceberg slim. Not, I read nothing, man. I probably not not those books, not those books. <laughs> you got to reach back and grab it. Forward, like, <laughs> I, I think y'all both right, honestly. Hey, Trev been reading them books that used to have them black plastic covers on them at the at the local gas station. That's what Trev was reading. <laughs> no, I, I I think y'all both right. Trev, you you on point about. All the, the intangibles that you're gonna need, right? But what Shan's saying, like, cause I feel like I contributed to a lot of this too. Like, I do, I do this messing with women that I didn't want to be with, but it this. was purely sexual. And then they might look down on a dude, you know what I'm saying? That that is at their level. Like I, I've seen it kind of happen. And as I got older and looked back on it, I'm like, maybe, maybe we had a lot to do with this. Like guys that was doing the same, you know what I'm saying? Sean and Tony are probably in the same boat where. She, cause what tend to happen is they start looking at the other dudes like, like say, say she came out, out out west with me, right? And then she go back to the suburbs. She look at them as goofies from that point forward. And some of those was good men that she could have dated. And now, now Trail, to your point, you're right. You can get some intent, but that's almost a skill set like being attractive. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody don't have all of those things put together to make the gumbo necessary to really be able to get by on those, those non-tangible tangibles. So y'all both right. Honestly, like listening to it, y'all, y'all both right. Yeah. We, yeah. We, and not everybody I'm does have that skill set, <laughs> but it's something you got to work I'm on. Trying. It's something you got to work on. And like I said, it takes practice. You might have to grab some threes and fours and, and all that and practice. You know what I'm saying? Like you'll see what women respond to. It's practice. Did you, practice wait, did, you have, did you hear what you just said? You might have I to did. grab some threes. You just said ruin a couple threes and fours. You just said become what Marcus said he was while you practice. I did. So practice on these ugly hoes. Yeah. Is what you just said. That's and exactly once what you I ruin said. The threes and fours go for the sevens now that you home. They're your not skills. gonna die. Fuck them threes They're and not fours. gonna die. <laughs> it's just practice. <laughs> They gonna get some uh, good McLovin out of it. What are we talking about? Hey, look, look, I'm not gonna say Travis is wrong because when I was younger, in order to get my game up, right now. that's that's it's what good. I did. I, I worked on man three or four, and then once I felt confident, I went with the. You got your weight up. It's like yeah. boxing. You that's spar with you, you work your weight up. You can't just get the championship bout. You work your way up. You know, don't, don't, you got don't, amateur. You high school years. I I did what I need to do. But here go the issue with and it that. worked. Like, so look, I've been watching a couple of uh, channels about because before I came to the internet, I didn't know none of this stuff was the actual thing, right? So then I start looking at it. I'm like, damn, am I responsible? Like, I, I take accountability at all times. Like, damn, I'm personally responsible for, for some of this stuff. So if if the men start just doing that, the threes or fours, they gonna corrupt that market too. So what ends up happening? Because I seen a, a diagram the other day. Uh, I'm gonna send some of these videos to you, Jr. But one of the diagrams was like. Right now, because the, the men are maybe eight to ten, and that's finance, money, looks, high, all those things, they're, all the women, it seems like, are pulling from that pool because they feel like they have access to them via Instagram. So from what I'm gathering from the, the men, they saying the women that they should be on par with, look at them like they're so far beneath them because either they got a response in a DM or they got the, you know what I'm saying, after the club, after, after a night, they got hit one time and... Like, I, I, I forget who had the joke who was saying, if I hit Halle Berry at the, the club one night drunk, I, I had a good night. I just hit Halle Berry. That's not my standard moving forward. I just had a great night. I would have to consistently be with Halle Berry for me to think that that's my, my new norm. But, but for some reason, if the woman has sex with a man she feels is, is, is like, say, she got LeBron, now she needs to date uh, Kevin Durant 
and, and the rest of them moving forward until something happens that that evens it out in her mind that maybe this, you know, maybe this isn't it. But that is going to be a, a period before that happens. And that's the period where the guys who she might have hit it off with. She's she's sunning. She like, no, nah, I'm better than you. And I, I personally a chick, feel a chick, a chick, a chick get hit by LeBron. Mm-hmm. She only looking at LeBron's from now on. Mm-hmm. She's she's she, in her mind. That, LeBron's like me. And, I, and I'm waiting on LeBron to wipe me up because she got fucked by one in college. That's true. It's hard for them to go backwards. Yeah. Well, Sometimes the wall will humble them, but yeah. Like, shit is. We're going to go ahead and close out with a uh, cloud. Go ahead, cloud. Let's try it again. No, no, no I was just going to say that. Can, can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah no, nah, I, I, I was going to say, I kind of agree with that. But if y'all remember that old song um, with, with Biggie, when he was smashing the, the New York Knicks players, um, shorty, like at the end of the day, it don't really matter if she's feeling you, she's feeling you like, yeah, that's kind of true. If she dated LeBron, she might not mess with you. But there's women who will cheat on LeBron with homeboy from that work at the post office if she's feeling him like that. So, you know, it, it really... It's all nuanced. It all depends on the circumstance, you know. But, uh, but Cloud, that, that, that type of guy probably got what Trev talking about. Like, some people just have an aura about them. And even though he might not have had a bag, his aura is, is is very intriguing and enticing, and it pulled people towards him versus, like, the average person. Like, I'm saying that that aura is a skill equivalent to being extremely attractive without being actually attractive. You can, you know what I'm saying, be so funny and so charming and so smooth that – you damn near are, are are the equivalent of somebody that's used like six seven. Now you your aura is so strong, it's six seven. And as far as the stat line go, and choosing the struggle, it's the confidence. <laughs>